Hello students and good morning. So today I am doing class for class 10. The topic is trigonometrical ratios of standard angles. And in the last online class also we were doing the same chapter that is trigonometrical ratios of standard angles. And in that class uh, we derived uh, some uh, values of trigonometrical ratios of standard angles. So I think you have revised all those formulae and the problems that we did in that online class. So today is the continuation class of this chapter, trigonometrical ratios of standard angles. So same exercise, let us work out 23.2 from page number 302 from the book Ganit Prakash for class 10 by West Bengal Board of Secondary Education. So let's start this question number three. In a right angle triangle ABC, angle B is equal to 90 degree, angle A is equal to 30 degree, and AC is equal to 20 centimeter. Let us determine the lengths of two sides BC and AB. So in the question, it is given that there is a right angle triangle ABC where angle B is equal to 90 degree and angle A is equal to 30 degree. And also it is given that the length of one side AC is equal to 20 centimeter. So you have to determine the lengths of the two sides BC as well as AB. So I think the question is clear. So in order to do this problem, let us draw the figure now. So let us draw the figure. So this is this is a right angle triangle ABC, right? This is the right angle triangle ABC with angle B is equal to 90 degree. So this is angle B 90 degree. And suppose this is angle A, this is angle A which is 30 degree. So this is given as 30 degree, okay? And what is AC? ABC, this is C. So here AC is given as this is given as 20 centimeter. Now in this case, you have to find out the length of the two sides BC as well as AB. You have to find out BC as well as AB. Okay. So now let us consider this angle 30 degree. This is 90 degree. Let us consider this angle 30 degree. Okay. So if this angle 30 degree is considered, the side opposite to this angle considered will be the perpendicular. This BC will be the perpendicular. This is your P and this BA will be the base and the longest side. Always the longest side of the right angle triangle will be the hypotenuse. That is your H. This is your H. Okay. Now you have to get the value for P. That is you have to get the length of BC. That BC is perpendicular. Right. So let us write here in right angled triangle, in right angled triangle ABC, in right angled triangle ABC, if we consider this angle 30 degree, the side opposite to the angle 30 degree will be the perpendicular. That is BC will be the perpendicular, AB will be the base and AC will be the hypotenuse. Okay. So now you know that. P by H. So you have to use this hypotenuse because the length of the hypotenuse is known that is 20 centimeter. It is given in the question itself. Okay. So P by H will give you the give you sine theta. So this is sine 30 degree is equal to P by H. Right. So or now this is sine 30 degree is equal to what is the perpendicular here? It is BC. BC is the perpendicular and what is the length of the hypotenuse? That is your 20. 20, right? And what is the value for sine 30 degree? You should know it. Sine 30 degree is always half is equal to BC divided by 20. So let us do cross multiplication. 2 into BC is equal to 21 or 20 or BC is equal to 20 by 2. 2 ones are 2, 2 tens are 20. That means BC is equal to 10 centimeter. What is the length of BC? BC is 10 centimeter. 
So I think you have understood it. So we have uh, determined the length of the side BC, which is equal to 10 centimeter. So now let us find out the length AB. So AB will be the base and base by hypotenuse will be cos, isn't it? So this 30 degree angle is considered. So again, again you can write down cos 30 degree is equal to B upon H or cos 30 degree is equal to what is B? What is the base? That is your AB. Base is AB divided which is the hypotenuse that is your 20, right? So what is the value for cos 30 degree? You should know it. So you should know the value for cos 30 degree. Cos of this standard angle 30 degree. Cos 30 degree is root 3 divided by 2 which is equal to AB by 20, right? Let us do cross multiplication. 2 into AB is equal to 20 root 3 or what is AB now? AB is equal to 20 root 3 divided by 2. 2 ones are 2, 2 tens are 20. That is AB is equal to 10 root over 3. What is the unit here? It is centimeter. That is AB is equal to what? It is 10 root over 3 centimeter. So I think you have understood it. So you can copy it. This question is very, very important. You can mark it. Now we'll do the next question. So now we'll do the next question. That is question number four. In a right angle triangle PQR, angle Q is equal to 90 degree, angle R is equal to 45 degree. If PR is equal to 3 root over 2, then let us find out the lengths of the two sides PQ and QR. So in the question, it is given that there is a right angle triangle PQR with angle Q is equal to 90 degree and angle R is equal to 45 degree and if PR is equal to 3 root 2 the length of PR is 3 root 2 unit then let us find out the length of the two sides PQ and QR you have to find out the length of the two sides PQ as well as QR so in order to do this problem let us draw a right angle triangle first so this is a right angle triangle right so this is a right angle triangle. Let us draw it. So this angle Q is 90 degree. This is given in the question. Angle Q is 90 degree. Then angle R is equal to 45 degree. And let it be angle R. So this is your 45 degree. And this is your P. That is PQR is a right angle triangle. Okay. So in the question it is given that PR is equal to 3 root 2 unit. It is given as if the unit is not given out here let us write unit if the unit is not given in the question let us write it as unit that is pr is 3 root over 2 unit so let us find out the length of the two sides pq as well as qr so you have to find out pq as well as qr okay so again this angle 45 degrees is considered and the side opposite to this angle is PQ and this PQ will be the perpendicular and other side QR will be the base and this longest side will be the hypotenuse. Okay, now let us find out PQ as well as QR. So you can use the same method as we have done in the previous problem that is question number three. So let us write here solution. This is the solution. In right, in right angled triangle PQR. In right angle triangle PQR. Since you have to find out PQ first, this P by H will give you sine theta, sine 45, isn't it? That is sine 45 degree is equal to perpendicular by hypotenuse. 
so you know the value for sine 45 degree which is 1 by root 2 is equal to perpendicular here is pq that is your pq divided by what is the hypotenuse here hypotenuse is 3 root 2 right so let us do cross multiplication root 2 into pq is equal to 3 root 2 right or pq is equal to this is 3 root 2 divided by root 2 here root 2 root 2 will be cancelled so what is pq now pq is equal to 3 so you can write here units so pq is equal to 3 units so this is the answer now let us find out similarly qr so in this q in this case what is qr qr will be the base and b by h is the formula for what cos theta here theta is 45 degree so again cos 45 degree again cos 45 degree is equal to base upon hypotenuse what is cos 45 it is also 1 by root 2 uh, so what is the base here base we don't know that is your qr divided by what is the hypotenuse hypotenuse is the length pr that is your 3 root 2 right so let us do cross multiplication root 2 into qr is equal to 3 root 2 or qr is equal to 3 root 2 divided by root 2 here root 2 root 2 will be cancelled or what is the value for qr qr is also 3 units so this is the final answer so i think i have understood it so you can copy it these are also very very this is also very very important question so you can mark it okay so you can copy it now we'll do the next question So now we'll do the next question that is question number five let us determine the values of now you should know the values of trigonometrical ratios of standard angles so you should memorize all those values of trigonometrical ratios of associated angles now you should know it okay so let us do this question number one let us find out the values of value of this expression that is sin square 45 degree minus cosec square 60 degree plus sec square 30 degree so you should know all these values so whole square is given here out here what is the value for sine 45 degree now you can use that table you can uh, refer that table of trigonometrical ratios of standard angles okay so you should memorize that one right so what is the value for sine 45 degree it is 1 by root 2 whole square minus what is cosec 60 degree cosec 60 degree is just the opposite of sine 60 degree what is the value for sine 60 degree it is root 3 upon 2 sine 60 degree is equal to root 3 upon 2 right sine 60 degree is equal to root 3 upon 2 so what is the value for cosec 60 degree it is just the reverse of sine 60 degree make it upside down it is 2 upon root 3 right so let us write here minus it is 2 by root over 3 whole square plus what is sec 30 degree sec 30 degree is the opposite of cos 30 degree what is the value for cos 30 degree you know that cos 30 degree is also root 3 upon 2 cos 30 degree is also this is root 3 upon 2 so what is sec 30 degree sec 30 degree is equal to 2 upon root 3 so here you can write plus it is 2 upon root over 3 whole square so i think you have understood it okay so which is equal to what is 1 by root 2 whole square 1 whole square is 1 divided by what is root 2 whole square root 2 whole square means root 2 into root 2 that is root over 4 what is root over 4 that is only 2 minus again 2 square is 4 divided by what is root 3 whole square root 3 is multiplied twice root 3 into root 3 that is root 9 what is root over 9 that is 3 plus similarly what is 2 square 4 divided by what is root 3 whole square root 3 into root 3 is root 9 root 9 is 3 so here you can cancel this minus 4 by 3 plus 4 by 3 
which is equal to 1 upon 2. So this is the final answer. So I think you have understood it. So you can copy it. So now we'll do the next question. So now we'll do the next question. So determine, let us determine the values of this number two, number three and number four are your homework. So these are your homework, right? Number two, number three and number four will be your homework. Let's do this question number five. So you should know trigonometrical ratios of standard angles. So if you know the value, you can easily do it. You can substitute the values here and then you have to simplify it. Okay. So let us uh, find out the values of question number five. That is one third cos 30 degree divided by half sine 45 degree plus tan 60 degree divided by cos 30 degree. So let us put the value now. So this is 1 upon 3 into what is the value for cos 30 degree? You should know the value for cos 30 degree. Cos 30 degree is root 3 upon 2. Cos 30 degree is what? It is root 3 upon 2. Half into what is the value for sine 45 degree? 1 upon root 2. It is 1 upon root 2. Plus what is the value for tan 60? The value for tan 60 is root 3 divided by what is the value for cos 30 degree? Cos 30 degree you know that this is root 3 upon 2. So let us simplify it. So which is equal to 1 upon 3 into this is root 3 by 2 1 upon 3 into root 3 by 2 into uh, when this denominator goes up in the numerator it becomes upside down you know that half becomes 2 by 1 1 upon 2 becomes 2 by 1 into 1 by root 2 it goes up in the numerator becomes root 2 by 1 it is root 2 by 1 right then plus plus then root 3 root 3 into in the numerator there is root 3 in the denominator there is a fraction root 3 by 2 when it goes up in the numerator it becomes upside down that is you should write 2 by root 3 it will be 2 upon root 3 right so here you can cancel this 2 2 will be cancelled and this root 3 and root 3 will be cancelled which is equal to you can multiply these two numbers that is root 3 into root 2 what is root over 3 into root 2 so within a square root there will be 3 by 2 uh, if you have root over a into root over b you should write root over a b similarly here also root 3 into root 2 is root over 3 into 2 that is it is root over 3 into 2 is 6 divided by 3 plus how much is that plus this is 2 okay so is equal to what's the lcm LCM is 3 so in the numerator what do we have uh, this below 2 there is 1 if you divide 3 by 3 it will be 1 1 into root 6 root 6 plus this 3 is divided by 1 that is 3 3 to the 6 so this is the final answer so I think I have understood it okay so you can copy it and these three problems are your homework okay so now we'll do the next problem So now we'll do the next question that is number six. Let us determine the values of the question is cot square 30 degree minus 2 cos square 60 degree minus 3 by 4 sec square 45 degree minus 4 sin square 30 degree. So you should know the trigonometrical ratios of standard angles that is 0 degree, 30 degree, 45 degree, 60 degree and 90 degree. Okay. So is equal to what is the value for cot 30? Cot 30 is just the opposite of tan 30 degree. But you should know the value for tan 30 degree. So you know that tan 30 degree is 1 upon root 3. What is tan 30 degree? It is 1 upon root 3. So what is cot 30 degree? It is just the opposite of tan 30 degree. That means the value for tan 30 degree is 1 by root 3. We should you should make it upside down. That is cot 30 degree is root 3 so let us write it here 
it is root over 3 whole square minus 2 into now you should know the value for cos 60 degree first what is the value for cos 60 degree cos 60 degree is always half so within bracket you write half then whole square minus 3 upon 4 now you should know the value for sec square 45 degree so before that you should put the value for sec 45 for sec 45 you should know the value for cos 45 because cos 45 degree and sec 45 degree are opposite angles so cos 45 degree is equal to this is 1 upon root 2 so sec 45 degree is just the inverse of cos 45 degree that is sec 45 degree is you have to make it upside down that means what is the value for sec 45 degree it is root 2 so minus 3 by 4 into root 2 whole square right minus 4 into what is the value for sine 30 degree you should know it what is the value for sine 30 degree this is half this is half whole square okay so we have put the values of trigonometrical ratios of standard angles. So let us simplify it. What is root 3 whole square? Root 3 into root 3, root 9, that is root over 9 is 3. Minus 2 into what is half whole square? 1 whole square is 1, 2 whole square is 4. Minus 3 by 4 into what is root 2 whole square? root 2 whole square is actually root 2 into root 2 that is root over 4 what is root over 4 that is 2 that means the square root is removed minus 4 into 1 whole square is 1 2 whole square is 4 this square is for both numerator as well as denominator 1 whole square is 1 2 whole square is 4 so here you can cancel 4 ones are 4 4 ones are 4 2 ones are 2 2 twos are 4 which is equal to 3 minus 1 upon 2 minus this is also 2 ones are 2, 2 twos are 4, this is minus 3 by 2, then this is minus 1. So let us take the LCM out here. So what's the LCM? LCM is 2, below 3 there is 1, below 1 there is 1, okay. So this 2 is divided by 1, that means 2, 2 3s are 6, 2 is divided by 2, that is 1, 1 ones are 1, minus 1 you know how to simplify it, minus 2 is divided by 2, that is 1, 1 3s are 3, minus 2 is divided by 1 that means 2 this is 2 ones are 2 so I think you have understood it so which is equal to this is 6 this is minus 1 minus 3 minus 2 same sign you have to add them 3 plus 1 4 4 plus 2 is 6 so it will be minus 6 whole divided by 2 this 6 6 will be cancelled which is equal to 0 by 2 which is equal to 0 so 0 is the value of the given expression is that clear so you can copy it now we'll do the next question so now we'll do the next question that is question number seven of number five so let us determine the values of question number 7 sec square 60 degree minus cot square 30 degree minus 2 tan 30 degree cos x 60 degree whole divided by this whole divided by 1 plus tan square 30 degree so you should know the trigonometrical ratios of this standard angles okay so which is equal to now sec 60 degree so in order to get the value for sec 60 degree you should know the value for cos 60 degree because the inverse of cos 60 degree is sec 60 degree isn't it what is cos 60 degree cos 60 degree is half so what is the value for sec 60 degree it is just the inverse of cos 60 degree that is uh, half becomes upside down so this will be 2 by 1 which is equal to 2 so the value for sec 60 degree is 2 2 2 whole square minus cot 30 degree uh, so you should know the value for tan 30 degree because tan 30 degree and <coughs> cot 30 degree are opposite trigonometrical ratios so tan 30 degree is 1 by root 3 and cot 30 degree is just the inverse of tan 30 degree that is cot 30 degree is just the inverse of tan 30 degree that means 
you should make upside down that is tan 13 is 1 by root 3 if you make it upside down it will be root 3 upon 1 that is your root 3 cot 30 degrees root 3 that is your root over 3 whole square minus 2 into what is the value for tan 30 degree it is 1 by root 3 into what is cos x 60 degree for this you should know the value for sin 60 degree so sin 60 degree and cos x 60 degree are opposite trigonometrical ratios so sin 60 degree is root 3 by 2 so what is the value for cos x 60 degree so cos x 60 degree is just the opposite of sin 60 degree that means you can write just the reverse of root 3 by 2 that means 2 by root 3 make it upside down that is 2 by root 3 so it is cos x 60 degree is 2 by root over 3 whole divided by 1 plus what is tan 30 degree it is 1 by root 3 it is 1 upon root 3 whole square so i think uh, you have understood it so let us simplify it so what is 2 square 2 whole square is 4 minus what is root over 3 whole square root over 3 is multiplied twice root 3 into root 3 is root 9 root 9 is 3 minus now in the numerator we have 2 2s are 4 divided by root 3 into root 3 is 3 that is root 3 into root 3 is root over 9 isn't it root 3 into root 3 is root over 3 3 is a 9 root over 9 what is square root of 9 it is 3 this is 1 plus what is 1 by root 3 whole square this is square is for both numerator as well as denominator 1 square is 1 divided by root 3 whole square is root 3 into root 3 that is root 9 root over 9 is 3 right so which is equal to 4 minus 3 is 1 minus this is your 4 upon 3 divided by so how can you simplify it you can multiply 3 by 1 3 ones are 3 plus 1 that is 4 by 3 so you can cancel it right so which is equal to 1 minus 1 which is equal to 0 so this is the final answer so i think you have understood it so you can copy it so this much is for today so today we did five or six problems like that so you revise all the problems that we did today and in the next online class uh, you can uh, you can do your homework also you do the homework also if you don't understand anything you can ask me okay so in the next online class we'll do more problems on this trigonometrical ratios of standard angles so this much is for today